it stings the nostrils in a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Hello everybody, how you doing? I am JB and welcome to another edition of What's On Today with Discovery Bay. The home to the YouTube TV guide for the comic book and Funko Pop community channel guide. Folks, this is the show where I'm going to give you my top picks from the sea of content that's been released. And then we are going to run down the lineup of content creators that have either scheduled or released via premiere or are going live. Now, before we get to that lineup, we are going to break for the Instagram tag of the day. And then after that lineup, you know what time it is. It's time for another comic book review. Oh, no. We're going to open the box. What's in the box? Today's box is special. Actually, today I'm going to be doing a Bueller box. So we will be opening up the Bueller box on today's What's in the Box. And then after that, we are going to get to the next edition of the comic book review and I was so captivated by that story yesterday. We kept it going with Tales of Suspense, issue number 80. What happens to the Cosmic Cube? I gotta find out what happened to Iron Man, man. He was about to get beat down. So hang out for that as we do the comic book review. Now, to close the show, we're gonna talk about Friday's fantastic giveaway. We're giving away two different prizes. There is still time to enter, folks. But we'll get to that at the end of the show. And also, I'll be offering the Comic Pop Family hashtag to be dropped, and that will also get you an entry into Friday's fantastic giveaway. That's going to be one lucky video in today's top picks. So, where am I at now? Oh, that's right. You know where I'm at. If you're having a good time already, and you could be, go ahead and hit me that thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, think about subscribing and hitting that bell. We're about to shout out a bunch of channels here in the next 40 minutes, and who knows, today may be the day that you, my friend, find your new favorite channel. So next up, I will be adding chapters to this video as soon as it ends, and you can jump, I still get it wrong every time, and you can jump ahead to any of these by scrolling across the bottom of the video. But next up is my favorite segment of the show. You know what time it is. It is time to shout out that chat. That's right. Let's see who's hanging out with us today in the live chat. I'm going to roll over to the stream yard, and we are going to highlight a couple of comments here and see who's hanging out. All right, first up, I'm gonna go all the way up to the top and we have got Magoo Fitz Farner in early dropping custom emojis. Thank you so much, Magoo. You like that Batman custom. I still got open slots, guys. Any of the members out there, give me some ideas on some new custom emojis and we will get those going. So early on, Cape Titus in the middle of the night or morning, sometime over there in Japan, you know what he's gonna say. Konnichiwa, my friend, thanks for hanging out. Hey, not near Mint. Rob Worst says it's only 10.45 to go live for another two hours. Oh my goodness, I'm reading comments from two hours ago. But I'm here, so carry on. Wow, these were the tailgaters, folks. Congrats. Boom, tailgating. I love it. All right, who else is tailgating early out here? Wow, that was early. CFAP was in the chat early. I appreciate you. Unuseful unboxing is in early and dropping custom emojis. Who else is in the chat? Ian is here, man. How you doing? Nice to see you again, my friend. Comic Book Poser is here, as well as the Comic Intellect. Hey, bam, perfect time for your break, my friend. All right, this is right about where I showed up, because uh, Newbie Comics was here. I started saying hello to a few peeps who were in the chat, and let's slide all the way down. Man, I don't want to miss anybody. Yes, Elu Comics and Pops. How you doing, my friend? Thanks for hanging out. All right. Um, all right, I got a new one for this one. KC is in the house. KC, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. God, I don't want to mispronounce it. So we're going, KC. Jack B says, greetings from Michigan. How you doing, my friend? Jack is hanging out. Great supporter of the channel. Magoo still dropping the custom emojis. Digging it. Who well, totally mentioned comics is here. How you doing, my friend? My man, Tira23 says, yo, yo, yo. Um, all right. Phil Ailing is in the chat as well as Johnny5 Alive. Where is he at? Johnny5, which is a bunch of ones. The Big Lion Cat is... When was the last time we played BLC's Bumper? I don't know if any of the kids have seen the kitties. You know what? Since the whole show's kind of had some some uh, pet themes. If you, I don't know if you saw the, the intro. And then my little things here were all pet themes. We're going to go with Big Lion Cat's intro. Welcome to the stream, BLC. 
Ray video says, what up? Good morning to you, JB, and the Comic Pop family. Thanks for hanging out, Flash Ray. LBD Prophecy is also here. How you doing? And I know he's here. Have no fear. Batman is here. How you doing, Batman Popster? Okay, who else do we got? Two boys and their pops is hanging out. I appreciate everybody. If I missed you, I do apologize. Big shout out to the 26 peeps in the live right now. I really do appreciate the time. Let's get on with the show. You know what's next. Let's find out what's in today's top picks. I forgot to shout out my coffee mug. Shout out to Mama J and Spectre on their way to 1,000 subscribers. Yesterday's Comic Pop Family hashtag. I appreciate you sending me this coffee mug. They did not send me a coffee mug. But I appreciate you sending me a sticker that I was able to turn into a coffee mug. Thank you so much. They are now less than 90 subscribers away from getting to 1,000. Let's share it. If you guys are new to the channel, someone's just now joining us, you're not familiar with the channel, go check out Mama J Inspector and sub them up. That's what the thumbnail said anyway, right? I mean, that was pretty clear. Anyway, shout out to them. Let's get on with today's show. In the top spot, I mentioned this yesterday. Now, check this out. This is a really cool show because it's not just about comics. Sometimes they get into really good comics. And if Hialeah could stop asking all the really good questions before the show goes off, no, just messing with guys. Go check out In the Top Spot today and today's Comic Pop Family hashtag Hialeah Comic Pro and Conquistador Hobby interviewing no good comics about lots of stuff and it was just fantastic good stuff hi la and hobby you guys are doing a great job at no good i know i know a lot more about you now don't i and you guys will too go check out the video drop the comic pop family hashtag and be entered into friday's prize you're going to be able entered into the freddy funko pop the shazam freddy pop with the shazam 1974 comic book and there's still time to enter Billy's prize, which is dropping the comic pop family hashtag on last Freaky Friday. I know some of the uh, comments have been suppressed, but he will tally them up and we will get all those people uh, in. Now, okay. There are, I said this last time, I think I said this one week ago, maybe last week. There are some channels that give you previews of what's coming out based on them taking an image you know, Bueller and Billy, and they take an image and they they compile all the books that are going to come out. This guy just buys it. Straight up, man. I don't know anybody who has a bigger weekly haul than the comic book villain. And not only that, but every key book that people are talking about, the stuff that's hot and everything, he'll bust it open for you. He'll go to the panel. Spoiler alert. You know? So check out the comic book villain. It's a good channel. Check him out. All right, he's in the top picks. Next up, Comic Man Andy. He's in the live stream playlist. And I definitely made sure. Hey, I got a super chat for the day. Woo, two brothers. Ah, yes. They say, thank you for doing what you do. Man, I appreciate you guys. All right, that's cool. <laughs> Next up, um, Comic Man Andy's going to be live tonight. And I got his bumper set up for this mic. Absolutely got it this time. This is cool. Comic Man Andy is funny. This dude's funny. And he's a clean funny, not like a potty mouth funny. He's a really cool dude. Check out Comic Man Andy. Only 67 views on this is a crime. Let's see what he got on a new comic book day. May surprise you what he's reading. Surprise me a little bit, definitely. All right, next up in the top picks, one of the, I love this channel. You guys are, I know there's a lot of people watching, but if you're not watching Brian and Jack, you're missing out. The dynamic between the two plus, man, what's hot is hot. That's right, we've got another edition of the three up, three down list by uh, Brian and Jack, AKA Mr. Bolo, over at Simple Man's Comics. Don't miss it in the top picks. Okay, next up, 
cheap and nerdy. I love this couple. These guys are great, man. I think these are great. This is a great couple. They're open up a bunch of pops. I mean, a lot. Like, what was it? Twelve times. They actually, I don't, know, I don't want to call it made money, but what's the term that the pop fit? They got value. They got overvalue. They got overvalue like 50 bucks overvalue. So I think they did pretty well. I want, put a timestamp to the one that I thought was the coolest of all the, the ones that they showed. It wasn't the most expensive, ironically enough. The one that JB thinks is the coolest, I think it was like eight bucks or something. But there's a timestamp in the comments. Go ahead and check that out while you're checking out Cheap and Nerdy in today's top picks. All right, what else we got in the top picks playlist, folks? Oh, Billy, dude, I love this list. You know why I love this list? This may be the first time, no, no, this is probably it, the first time ever, that someone's put out a top 10 list where I had all the books. I got them all. I got all the books on Billy's top 10 because he's talking about the uncanny X-Men and he's talking about between issues 200 and 300. So when you narrow it down like that, I had a really good chance. <laughs> so X-Men, I collect issue keys basically between 200 and 300. They are affordable. Go out and get them. They're still out there in the dollar bins. All right. Pop and duo. Come on, man. Father, daughter, Funko Pops. I don't need to say any more. Go check them out in the Top Picks playlist, folks. Man. Luau. I like this channel. Obviously, a lot of people like this channel. Got 264 views. I think it deserves more. He's hitting me on a couple of... You know how I, be, you know how I feel about Star Wars, right? He's got a Funko Mystery Pop Star Wars. It's in the Top Picks. Go check it out. Now, this next one is in the top picks, and man, hashtag I miss Jeffrey. Jeffrey's back. That's right. The return of Jeffrey Comic Con Hansen to YouTube last night on Jester Rican's Buyer Pass, which I thought there was a different. Anyway, I'm not getting it. But what an awesome, awesome live stream last night. When I popped in, I got chills. I'm glad to see Jeffrey back. If you don't know who he is, go check him out in this stream. It's in the top picks, folks. All right. Man, this one got me so fired up today. This one got me This one got me so fired up today, I joined his Patreon. Seriously. You know how I feel about Rock and Robbie, but he... This is vintage Rock and Robbie. He was on fire. And what he's reading, awesome. Check it out. It's in the Top Picks playlist. And like I said, I was inspired based on this video to join his Patreon today. That's how he was fired me up today. Fire me up. Pop Culture Philosophers Rockin' Robbie Billups. Shout out. All right. Let's get on to the live stream, folks. Let's see who's in the live stream playlist after. The Instagram tag of the day. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, man, let's get over here to the Instagrams. Oh, you know I have a good time with this, right? I'm having a great time. <laughs> All right, first I want to shout out the 2,413 followers on Instagrams growing every day. I didn't share my stuff yesterday, did I? Oh, today is going to be another big share day, folks. I don't think I shared yesterday's tags. Let's see who tagged me in Instagram. I promise we're going to be doing some shares today. And already off the top, look at the first. I got my face in here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, man. That's going to be good. All right. Let's start at the top. Two boys and their pops come hang out on the sands of Tatooine. With our, fame, uh, with our Comic Pop family and Discovery Bay Comics is five times a week we hang out. So subscribe. That's right. Thank you so much to Discovery Bay Comics. Wow, that's a good one, man. Oh. <laughs> King of the Golden State. He's a local boy right down the block, basically. He's what's he tagging me for? Throwdown Thursday. Got a little Batman action in there. Okay, Batman Popster is coming strong with two pops. All right. Two pops, and he's got Batman and Superman, and a Batman Superman number one. Batman is, no, I'm sorry, Batman is number one. Yeah, I gotta make sure you get that right. Batman is number one. Did you notice the marquee? It's not just... <laughs> All right, we got Geeky Mama Bear wants into the game. She says, hey, I'm in. Any Spider-Man book is the best book in, is the best in my book, right along with my boy Deadpool. 
Here we have first edition Spider-Man Noir, number one, the A cover, and the Spider-Man Noir Funko Pop number 409 Walgreens exclusive. Wow, that's a great one. Great job, Geeky Mama Bear. What else we got? <laughs> Comic book poser. Holy moly. <laughs> Everyone should head over and check out everything the wonderful JB from Discovery Bay Comics is doing for the growing comic book family on YouTube. Man, I can read that. That is so awesome. I appreciate it. This is great. Booster Gold Blue Beetle combo pack in a little, <laughs> a little appearance by JB in the background. That's awesome, man. I can't wait to share that one with the kids. Quick draw. Here we go. He had this queued up yesterday. He knew what he was doing on this one. He's coming with Cobra Kai, cover B from 2019. And he's got two pops. Johnny Lawrence, number 970, and Daniel LaRusso, 971, both released in 2020. Man, those are cool. Those are cool. <laughs> what else we got? Okay, that's next Tuesday. Mark your calendar, folks. You know what? Got Mama Jay's got going on. She's got a live stream next Tuesday and every Tuesday. Okay. Two boys tonight. Is that tonight? no? Is that not a Friday? Tomorrow night. We got Scream stream tomorrow night from Two Boys. Oh, I should have been liking these. Sorry, guys. I like these. Uh, next up, Mr. Comics 89. He's in on Thursday, which is why I wore the t shirt. This is a Thor shirt. If you didn't know what the because some people didn't, my wife didn't. Well, what the hell is that thing? This is Thor. This is a Thor shirt for Thor's Day. Mad at Mr. Comics 89 saves me with a Thor's Day tag and a Thor comic book and Funko Pop combination. Plus, what's he got going on tonight? Is that tonight? Yes, he's going on live. To, is it tonight? Live tonight. Unboxing Pops from one of his favorite TV shows. Ooh, that's interesting. What else has he got going on? Mad, you're crushing me now. <laughs> Two videos dropping today. He's also dropping his first Funko Pop haul. That's probably in the live stream playlist. All right, Gamma Rays Comics is in here. Do I got any more comic from Funko Pops? Ooh. What is this? Johnny Five Alive says, I want comic book figure. I like action figures. Let's start something, Johnny. Let's start some action. I'm going to share it, too. We're going to start a new action figure one. What are we going to call it? Well, I don't know. we got to come up with something. Okay. This is special, so I will shout it out twice. Who Dat is doing an auction tonight. 515 Central. I'm on the panel, and wait till you see what I'm going to bring tonight. I'm actually going to be previewing it in today's comic book reviews. Hint, hint. Right? Isn't that kind of cool? All right, he's going to be previewing some books, too. Bring the fire tonight. And we got a Darth Richards with the Wicked Pop Wednesday. Okay, I'm into Wednesdays. Okay, we're in Thursday. I want to thank everybody that participated in this segment of the show. One of my, fa one of my favorite segments now. This was hilarious, man. That is that comic book poser. You killed it. Rob Boswell is a new member. What's going on here? Thank you so much, Rob Boswell. Becoming a new member of the channel. I thought you were a member of the channel. <laughs> Did that just fire? Right? It just fired, didn't it? <laughs> All right. Let's get on to the next rest of the show, folks. What's up? Oh, yeah. That's right. It is time for the live stream playlist. Welcome to today's live stream playlist. <laughs> All right, folks, let's get to today's live stream playlist. It's jam packed playlist. Let's get over here. Oh, I haven't updated the. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, I had to take these out. But this is what we got going on next. These are still up there. They will be moved here when the kid, by the way, the other channel that we're trying to get the push, we got Mama J. Go sub to Mama J. We're getting them to 1,000. Here when the kid, they're getting them to 1,000. And then Comic Core. I bet you, I this, this was in the live stream. I bet you, you will see this tomorrow in the top picks because they are crushing. This this setup, this little review thing that he's doing has been awesome. So I haven't even seen it yet. I, I guarantee you're probably gonna see that tomorrow. Okay, at the bottom of the hour, folks, Comic Burrito says, join him, la no, premiere, premiering. Well, you still join him in the chat. So premiering in 34 minutes at the bottom of the hour, Comic Burrito this week in comics. All right, what else we got? Live stream playlist. We're gonna get started. We're gonna get this thing rolling. And bam, quick draw says I'm in. Free comic book day, July 15th haul. He'll be premiering that video at 11 a.m. 11:30 a.m. Sorry, 11:30 a.m. Pacific. That would be 11, 12, 1, 2 30 a.m. Eastern. Quick draw. It's killing it on the IG game. Killing it on the IG game. All right, what else we got? 
Comic Book Posers, also in 11.30. He's premiered a video titled, Indies You Should Invest In, Volume 1 Oath from Ash Can Comics. Publisher. Never heard of it. I'll have to swing through, check that out. Might be something, and you know, I like a good read every now and then. What else we got? Tommy and the new guinea pig is talking the Transformers the movie. Man, from 1986. That's a cartoon, though, isn't it? I believe that's a cartoon. <laughs> Go check them out. They're still hitting my sweet spot right there. And as I mentioned, at 3.20, that's a weird time, weird time. 3.20 Pacific, 6.20 Eastern, Hoodat Comics with the killer, killer new logo. Over a thousand subscribers. Who that comics and movies is going live with an auction. I will be on the panel and I am bringing some heat. That's all I got to say. I'm bringing the heat tonight. Anytime I get invited on an, on an auction panel, I got to A, bring the heat and B, shout it out as much as I can. Shout out to Who Dad for letting me on the panel tonight. I appreciate you. Now, this next one's kind of special. I want everyone to take a moment. Seriously pay attention to this one. <sighs> okay. Couple things going on here. Tacoma Comics is doing something cool. His son has okay. First, you got a mental health and monstrous contest in D and D podcast. What's he talking about? We're gonna find out. 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, live as he gives us the lowdown. I'm already in on this. He's already posted it on Instagram. Go check out this podcast. It's super cute. I don't know if that's, that's, the right, that's the right word. That's the right word. I'm going to use it. It's cute. The kid's doing a podcast on Dungeons & Dragons. He's doing fantastic. Go check it out. Listen to it. Follow him on Instagram. It doesn't hurt. It's a follow. And enter this contest. He's going to give us the lowdown. Ian Chowmila will be giving us the lowdown on this one. Hey, I see a super chat. Did it fire? My man, Tier 23 says, hit the like button, guys. Great show. Love it. I appreciate you. Terry, give me the super chat. All right, who else we got in the live stream lineup, folks? We have got, there he is. First of two, I do believe, my first Funko Pop hunting haul from Matt at Mr. Comics 89, who's just been getting a lot of really great pops, man. A lot of really great pops. I, it, if it's my fault, I'm sorry, man. You just need to send over that uh, Captain America with Millionaire, and we'll, we'll be good. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready for the next one? I got this one queued up from earlier because I'm telling you, I could play this cut every 15 minutes and it's always funny. <laughs> Where is that now? I gotta, but see now if you gotta promise it, you gotta play it. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on. One more time. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on. <laughs> I love it. The longest name in YouTube comic book history. Three men in a basement, comics and collectibles. They got Throwdown Thursday live mail call in a CGC unboxing. And when they got CGC, you might see. Yeah, <laughs> I can't stop doing that. Man. That's tonight, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Three men in a basement, comics and collectibles. Plus, there's a big announcement. Big announcement. So we got to go check that out. All right, next up, 5 p.m. Here we go. We got to keep the series alive, right? The Gray Man, the Gray Man, the Gray Man. He's got box 13, 14, 15. If you, man, this is going to be a great watch. Someone's going to binge watch this one one day. We're going to get an all-in-one playlist for the Gray Man. Why does it like it? You like it. I want to like it. Like it. Okay, now we're going to have to go to Extended View because the playlist for live stream is long, folks. It's long. Pokin Joe is in the chat, folks. I will, as Mary, it's a perfect time. Is that um, here we go? Mm, 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 mm. Ah, you know it's coming, folks. You know it's coming. Awkward sip of coffee. Awkward sip of coffee time. We haven't done that in a while. Ah, oh, it's the nectar of the gods. If you want another good review guy right there, go check out Poke and Joe's reviews. He give it he keeping it real too, man. All right, let's get back into the live stream playlist here. Who's last one? We had uh, the great man. Next up is, ooh, 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 Mr. Unknown Comics Guy. I've talked about this. All you need to have an auction on YouTube is a camera and a wall and some comic books. Because that's what we got right here. <laughs> Just down and dirty basics right now. Mr. Unknown Comics Guy is giving the deals. He's even previewing right here. Iron Man, what's going down tonight? Live. 
in the live stream playlist, folks, if you want to find it. Who else is next? Mr. Unknown Comics Guy. Okay, now here's the second of the two uh, from Matt, Mr. Comics 89, where he's going to be unboxing Pops from one of his favorite TV shows. I wonder which TV show it is. Hmm. You, you know, hint, hint, and the, I'm, 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 I'm seeing the, the, the thumbnail. I'm trying to, and then the t-shirt. He's giving us clues, folks, clues. I don't actually watch TV, though. All right, next up, the Luau, right? Every night, every Thursday night, they got the Chrono Box. I hope you guys are getting sponsored. I say that every time. And <laughs> I say that every time. These boxes ain't cheap, man. And they're breaking them out every week. Luau versus Sean Ryan in games. Chrono Box Battle Live, 5.30 p.m. Pacific. Hopefully, they're getting sponsorship on that one. All right, JP's Budget Collected, one of my favorite channels out there, folks. Come on, you know Jason over at JP's Budget Collecting. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Too many. Too many, too many. There he is. I love that comment. Poke Joe says coffee and trash talking is his life. That's nice. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? We are almost at, oh, we got 41 likes. Man, 50 would be sweet. Yeah, drop a like. I feel you, man. I feel you. The immortal Biggie Shack is in the building. Buying the first juggernaut. What? I know you, man, you're getting all those good keys, but you are giving up some other books too, man. No Good Comics is still here hanging out. Let me get back to the show. So easily sidetracked. Squirrel. <laughs> Jason over at JP's Budget Collecting is going live with Adam of Bear Island Comics, Kavi the Don Dada himself of Comic Books NYC, and ILA Comic Bro. Today's recipient of the Comic, comic Pop Family hashtag. They're going live tonight with the indie show number eight, East of West. Volumes two and three. I've never read it. Never read it. That should be good. All right. What else we got in the live stream lineup, folks? Damn, Robbie getting it again. Rocky Robbie Billups is going live with Justin Richards tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific. With 6 p.m. Pacific, so that would be 9 p.m. Eastern. Check him out. He's in the live stream playlist, folks. But the next one, yes, on Comic Core, you know what night it is. It's Thursday. And on Thursdays, oh man, where is it at? And on Thursdays, it's hard to produce a show by yourself, folks. <laughs> this is Andy. Excitement's building. This is Thursday. I'm nervous. Breathe with me, guys. And this is Andy on Thursday. That's right, we gave Andy his own show. No way. No way. Yes way, Andy. Holy shit. Holy sheet indeed. Andy Given Thursday. Live every Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern, only on the Comic Core. I can't tell if I cut it early or if it ended. I apologize, Andy, if I cut it early, but the stream yard is starting to get a little buggy. But anyway, tonight's Thursday, so you know what that means. It is time to go check out Comic Man Andy. He has got... I'm not sure which brother he's got, but he's got two brothers comics and Skeps comics. They are talking variants. The good, the bad, and the ugly. You know that discussion. I went through a period of time where I was all crazy on the variants. And thank God I got over that. Jay Salsa is in the chat as well as Bob World. Man, Bob World, how you doing, man? Good to see you hanging out with us. I really appreciate you. There's my man, Perry Comics. Man, how you doing, Perry? Thanks for hanging out. Perry is still a Patreon creator. Why? I don't know why he's still in creator tier. He doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> I love you, Perry. Love you, Perry. All right, Comic Burritos in the chat as well as Metaphorical. Ooh, man, we got a nice crowd hanging out with us. That is the end of today's live stream playlist, folks. I got nothing else in the playlist. So you know what that means? You know what time it is? It's time for the next edition of What's in the Box already, JB. What's in the damn box? And as I mentioned, we're going to be opening up a Bueller box. All right. All right. Did not open it in advance. No, I didn't. I don't know what month this is from, but you know, Bueller, every once in a while, every periodic, every once in a while, Bueller will do a Bueller box. And if you're following them on the, um, 
on the eBay, because that's the only way you can purchase the real Bueller box, not the fake Bueller box, the real Bueller box. Here's my man KC dropping the custom emojis. Thank you, my friend. You'll get alerted, and I get alerted every time he drops a box. And so if you're lucky enough, because they sell out super quick, you can jump in there and grab one. So I went ahead and grabbed me a Bueller box. This one is actually probably a little bit older. This one is actually from May. Yeah, from May. You know, never cut towards you. You should always cut away. I'm just saying. Teach it. Teach it. Creator T. Yeah. Perry's auctioning off his creator tier status. You're hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's get in here. Bueller and, and, and. Packaged impeccably. Oh, put my earpiece on. And the cool thing about Bueller's box is every once in a while, every once in a while, not every time, but every once in a while, you will get an additional package of comic books that is sent in by a, an additional member of the community. Very similar to um, like uh, the Comic Karma thing that you saw last night on Comic Tom. People send in additional books to be sent out to the community. So this one says, Comics with Bueller, the Bueller box. These comics were donated by Donnie Moses. The Mastodon. Uh, they are comic book. Uh, they are comic book fan collectors and members of our comic book community. Thank you so much. Enjoy these extra comic books. These are like above and beyond. Like this is what you bought from Bueller, but these are just sent in to be sent back out. Let's see what Donnie, the Mastodon. And I'm assuming he sent like a bunch of books to be shipped out, and then he just parsed them out. So um, let's see what we got here from Donnie. These are free books, by the way. Free books. Hey, we've got a Heroes in Crisis number three. I've actually got that series. If this is a double, this will end up being in one of the uh, pop-ups. We've got Rebirth. Ooh, I, this is a number one. I'm actually might read this. Rebirth, Red Hood and the Outlaws, number one. I need to read more DC. I need more DC in my reading. And then this one is Top Cow Image number one, Michael Straczynski's Rising Star. Michael Straczynski's Rising Star. Never heard of that. That's kind of cool. All right, now this is the actual Bueller box. Let's see what we got in this month's Bueller box. Um, I also support Bueller on Patreon. He didn't have Patreon back in the day. And in, instead of just super chatting, uh, I always thought that buying a Bueller box was a better way to go because I got some comic books out of it that A, I might get a couple of things that I want for my collection because he does put a lot of Bronze Age stuff in there. And B, I'd end up with some inventory for the pop-up shops, which I do need to apologize. There was no pop-up shop yesterday. I had five kids in the pool during the summer and I flat out didn't have the heart to tell them that they had to get out so that I could do pop-up shop. There was no one else to watch him. I couldn't leave him in there. So we canceled it. Um, but man, that's summer, right? It's all about the kids anyway, right? Kids first. Okay, let's see what we got in the Bueller box. Man, it seems thick. I don't remember getting this many books. Oh, I got shiny, shiny. I love shiny, shiny. <laughs> if you guys don't know about Bueller, he likes to he likes shiny. Oh my goodness, really? This is cool. Okay, this is a great Bueller box. These are not all that expensive. I think it's maybe like 20 bucks delivered or maybe even a little bit less if you get the uh, regular shipping. First book in there is Excalibur number six, uh, 75. And look at the shiny goodness on that. Excalibur 75, with the shiny. Now this is a fac facsimile, which I didn't even have. So this is kind of cool. I, this is cool, Amazing Fantasy. 15, the facsimile edition. I can't wait to flip through that to see the period ads. That's one of the, my favorite things about the facsimile editions are the period ads in them. So that is super cool. This is actually looks like, like a trade maybe, or the New World Order JLA. It's a square bound. Very, oh, nice. Snyder Capullo, Batman, Last Night on Earth, book three. I think I needed this one. Batman, Last Night on Earth, book three. And that is DC Black Label. Ooh, Curse of the Spawn, number eight. Curse of the Spawn, number eight. And if you think that's a wicked cover, check this one out. Curse of the Spawn, number 13. That's crazy. This is a great Bueller box, man. This is amazing. 
The Amazing Spider-Man 388? Special double-sized issue. This is a great Bueller box. This might be one of my best. All right. Marvel Adventure featuring Daredevil. 25 center. Look at Daredevil up in the air. Kazar got him. He ain't playing. Awesome. Next up, we've got the Spider-Man Annual number 42. Spider-Man Annual 42. All right. Next up, Astonishing X-Men 25. That's, that's, that's one. Astonishing X-Men 25. And then the final one is another Astonishing X-Men number 13. It actually goes in this direction. Astonishing X-Men 13. Man, that's a great Bueller box, man. Thanks a lot, Comics with Bueller. I really appreciate you. Now, let's get to the next segment of the show, folks, which is the comic book review. So let's talk about today's comic. Let me bring up the issue facts. Let me get it out here and go over it. So yesterday I read Tales of Suspense, issue number 79. Well, I was hooked, man. That story had me going. I had to see what happened, right? We, there was two cliffhangers. So, we, you know, in order to find out what happened, I was going to go ahead and read ahead. Plus, my daughter went and slept over next door, so I couldn't read the second issue of Contest of Champions with, with her anyway. So I was like, you know what? Let's go with this. So we will be reviewing Tales of Suspense number 80 from August of 1966. Just a classic red uh, skull cover. There is a huge key that I want to share with you when we get to it. Okay, now as you remember from yesterday, there was two storylines. One was Iron Man, broke, destitute, down in power, just fought off Krang, and was basically falling through the roof of his lab, trying to recharge himself um, so he could figure out what, what his next move was. And of course, the final scene was Submariner was standing there and he won happy. So let's find out what happens. So as we see Submariner, who is, uh, you know, crazy. Submariner is the first mutant, I do believe, and he's crazy strong, but he gets his power from the water. Um, starts with the beatdown and he starts throwing beatdown. And what was the first thing I wanted to mark here? I marked this one because... Yeah. Uh, even though Iron Man is taking the beating, the armor is holding, he doesn't have any repulsor to fight back, but he still... <laughs> whatever his motive, um, whatever his purpose, he must be taught a lesson. He'll remember forever. You don't mess with Iron Man. So Iron Man's already starting to play. I'm going to whoop his ass when I get my shit. All I got to do is get this going. So Iron Man's thinking, I'm in my factory. I've got to get my other suit. There's no way I'm going to get my other suit. My other suit's behind that huge steel door. He's never going to let me get there unless I outsmart him. So he does. As they're fighting and he's running, he runs away from the door that he's trying to go to. And as Submariner picks him up, he's like, don't throw me in there. Don't throw me in there. So Submariner throws him in there. And he goes to shut the door. Oh, I love this scene. You love this. You guys are good. <laughs> so now he gets to the room where he wants to be and there's this huge door and he's like if I could just shut this door then, I, then I'm going to be safe because Submariner cannot bust through this door right and he goes ah if my transistor if my transistors were only operational I could slam this with one finger but now the only thing I gotta set this up for you it's not gonna work because hate me on this one now, the only thing that may save me is the fact that it swings on well-oiled ball bearings. Instead of 30-weight ball bearings, what the hell you need ball bearings for? It's all ball bearings nowadays. I, I can't stop. I can't. And that's what it says. The ball bearings, anyway. Oh man, he gets in the room. Uh, Submariner tries to bust the door down, and he can't. He literally can't bust this door down. And while he's doing that, here he goes. Tony Stark is suiting up in his new suit. He's getting all fired up. He's talking about the beatdown he's gonna throw. They give us a quick recap of why Submariner's so upset. 
he was actually on his way to put the beat down on Krang. But then, remember, Iron Man put the beat down on Krang, and Krang escaped, and now Submariner's mad at Iron Man for letting Krang escape. So that's why he's trying it. But now he's depleted. He needs to go and recharge. He needs to go back to the ocean. So he's like, all right, you know what? I'm going to go back to the ocean, refresh, come back, and bust this door down. And as he's gone, Iron Man is now completely suited up, bust the door down to start laying beat down, and, he's, and he looks around, he's gone. Oh, man, he's gone. Now, I got to throw this out here because what made Stan Lee special? Geez, this is what made Stan Lee special. If you read the little excerpts, here on page 10 there's a special note for the nitpickers that's what it says the special note says in case you think we've forgotten about pepper Potts and happy logan we respectfully suggest that you tenderly turn the page and realize that you owe us an apology because that's right on the next page he does bring back hogan and pepper as they've gotten a call from the police because of the ruckus in the factory. Now the police have been dispatched and the guard, National Guard to the factory because they think Iron Man's there, which he is, by the way. So now the cops bust in. There's a confrontation. Submariner has now gotten into the water and out of the water, and he's ready to come back and throw beat down as he's stomping back. And then this is what makes this issue special. Very, very special. I will read it to you. Special notice. So spectacular is this epic battle that the Mighty Marvel is presenting it in two different magazines. That is right. This is the first time, and it says right here. So, for the dazzling conclusion of this smashing saga, don't dare miss Astonishing number 82 on sale now. This is the first time such a unique dual-issue project has been attempted in any comic magazine. So... Make sure we don't regret it. So exactly what is he saying? Let me throw up this, this interesting fact. This is the first time Marvel has continued a story from one title into a crossover of another title. As the story, because it's completed here, continues in Tales to Astonish 82. Now, I mentioned I was going to drop some very interesting. That's interesting. You want to know what's even more interesting? I have Tales to Astonish 82 right here. So we, I will get to read how this ends. What's even more interesting is the book that we had yesterday, the beginning of this storyline, 89, which is right here, 89, no, I'm sorry, 79, 80, and 82 will all be available tonight as a three book lot on Hudat Comics auction tonight. That's right. All three of these Silver Age books will be a one lot available tonight on Hudat Comics and Movies. Now, let's get back over to the story because as you hit the halfway point, you get your ad. And then after the halfway point, you get your second story. Now, remember, this second story has to deal with the Cosmic Cube. When we last left our hero, there was a device in Captain America's helmet which allowed him to not be hypnotized by the Red Skull's repos, and he foiled their plans. And while, while, those the cops are interrogating those those creepos captain america looks up in the sky and sees a huge red flash and in that flash it's an explosion a, there was a, a pilot that ejected himself that ejected himself from this explosion and captain america goes to investigate well the pilot is from aim and he was actually chasing someone who had stolen the cosmic cube and was taking it to the red skull so he ends up saving this guy's life and he gets that information that, hey, the Cosmic Cube is all powerful and it's on its way to the Red Skull. So of course, you know, as quickly as he can, Captain America hops a one-man rocket, craziness, a one-man rocket and jumps out of that rocket onto the plane, onto the, onto the jet that's carrying the Cosmic Cube, craziness. But hey, that's what we do, they're comic books, right? So he gets into this, he gets into the plane and he decides that he's going to eject the pilot with himself and that's uh, how he's going to foil this plan. Now, as they wash up on the shore, there is the Red Skull who is ready to lay down some smack. Now, they play each other, play on each other. First, Cap gets Red Skull angry and gets the advantage. And then Red Skull gets Cap angry and plays the advantage. And in one of those goofy comic book twists, <laughs> gets him close enough 
to emit gas from his shirt. Seriously, bro. Gas from your shirt? To which uh, he says, hey, in your fit of anger, which I so cleverly provoked, you forgot the many devices I wear concealed under my person. Okay. And we get to the next panel where Red Skull finally gets his hands on the Cosmic Cube. And man, this thing's stupid powerful because it says, the only such artifact known to man which can convert thought waves into material action. And the first thing he does is the pilot that brought him the thing, he goes and consigns him to another dimension. And Captain America says, this guy may be invincible. And that's how we close that story, folks. That is Tales of Suspense, issue number 80 from August of 1966. That's my comic book review. And as I mentioned earlier, a very special comic book review, because yesterday's, today's, and the conclusion of that story are all going to be available tonight in Hudak Comics and Movies auction. So you can bid on that lot if you want that in your collection. Let's get back to the next segment of the show, folks. Which, God, this thing fires wrong. Every single time, I've got to fix that. <laughs> All right, folks, let's talk about today's Thursday, so tomorrow's Friday. You've got two days left to get up to 10 entries into tomorrow's prize. And what are we giving away? Let me show you. If you drop the Comic Pop Family hashtag on Billy's Freaky Friday, those people will be entered into a special drawing for this special Iron Man Funko Pop, courtesy of Billy at Economics and Commons. Your name will also be entered into this drawing for this Shazam comic book from 1974 with Shazam Freddy Funko Pop, comic book Funko Pop combination, heading out to somebody in the community. All you've got to do, folks, to participate, drop a comment. Super simple, man, super simple. Drop a comment on any of the videos five days a week and you're entered. Drop the Comic Pop Family hashtag on any of the videos from last Friday's Billy all the way up to today. And who was today, folks? Where is it at? Today's thumb? Bam. Hi, Alea Comic Bro today. Drop the Comic Pop Family on that, and you will be entered into tomorrow's drawing. Yesterday, we had Mama J, Day Before, we had Hero and the Kid. Come on. It's a simple, it's simple to get entered. That's it for today's show, folks. I really appreciate everybody who hung out with me for almost an hour. How much time are we on here? What what, what did we go? 48 minutes, almost 50 minutes. I appreciate everybody that hung out. If you enjoyed what you saw today, go ahead and give me a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, why? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Did you just see how many channels we shouted out? There was a lot of decent content there. Today could be the day that you found your new favorite channel. How cool is that? I think it's cool. Anyway, if you forget everything about this show, just remember one thing. We had a good time. Peace, everybody. Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Really good. Everyone on the floor as well. Really a lot of hustle. I liked it. Thank you.